Well, welcome this afternoon. It is such an honor and pleasure to be here. As I was looking at everyone walking in the door, I was just awestruck, really, by the um, inspiration and experience that is in this room. When you think about circles of influence, um, you know that your circle is your classroom and your school and your school community. But when you look at this room and the circles of influence here today, it really extends all over St. Joseph in Buchanan County, across our state, and really, how many students are far, far away from us now in other states? So this is an amazing and powerful group of people who have inspired so many children who are now adults doing wonderful things. So thank you for all of that work that you've done to inspire and model for our kids. As you come up today, carefully, as the rows are really tight, um, you're going to receive a certificate, you're going to stop in front of this photo screen and smile in front of the whole room and hold up your, hold up your certificate and Stephanie is going to take your photo. So you can practice now, it's going to look something like this. Okay? And that's after we all watch you very gracefully make it from the back of the room through the very narrow row up to the front. All right. We're going to begin, and this goes in alphabetical order, so if you are like I am and you are a linear sequential kind of person, um, you know that B, Benton High School, is the first school and you can put yourself in order after that. So our teacher of the year, our first honoree as teacher of the year, is Dr. Gene Fight from Benton High School. He's a physics teacher. Gene is described as someone who possesses the ability to assist students in a way that makes them want to take his class and want to learn about physics. Students are excited about the class and speak very highly of his teaching style. Dr. Gene Fight. Okay, watch how he does this. <laughs> Certificate is right side up. Actually, if you stay up there, I'll get one with just that. Okay, so then you have to stay up with your, uh, your counterpart who is support person of the year and you will take a photo together. Twice you get to smile in front of the crowd. I had no idea that would be another gift that we got to give you today. Benton support staff person of the year. This is, this is giving me a little bit of feedback. Support staff person of the year, Kim Ulmer is counseling administrative assistant. Kim is extremely thorough in everything she does. She is always cheerful and takes on all duties and then some whenever she's asked. She is excellent with students. She is positive with all students and makes students and parents feel at ease when they enter the office. She always performs at top level. Kim Ulmer. Middle School Teacher of the Year is Deborah Seaburn Dennis, 7th grade science. Deborah Seaburn Dennis has a commitment to mission. She is known for engaging lessons, modeling and setting high expectations of student behavior, and staying current in the best practice of science instruction. When teachers want to go and study effective practices, Ms. Seaburn Dennis always opens the door to their learning. Deborah Seaburn Dennis. Bodie High School Support Staff Person of the Year is Natalie Atkins, Counselor. Natalie is a true pillar of support for all individuals at Bodie. She makes a difference every single day. Nobody can talk with a student like Mrs. Atkins. She has the tools and personality to not only be a good listener, but to also be a great problem solver and mentor. She dedicates her time to advocating for student success, and she is also an advocate for teachers, stressing the importance of self-care. Natalie Atkins. Carden Park Elementary Teacher of the Year is Kat Furlong, who teaches art. Kat Furlong is an exceptional educator. She always puts students first. She is a dedicated teacher who makes lasting connections with her students. 
She sacrifices her free time to attend games of her students as well as after school art and clay clubs. She has an infectious smile and greets every student in a loving manner. Cat Furlong. Carden Park Support Person of the Year is April Payne, Library Facilitator. <laughs> April has reorganized and restructured the library to offer more access to texts and flexible seating. She does so much more than circulating, including implementing innovative techniques, motivating students, and welcoming all of our bus riders, greeting our school community each day with a smile, and sometimes a dance. If she was still up here, I might ask her to show that to us. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> April Payne. <laughs> Central High School Teacher of the Year, Madam Corinne Russell, French. Corinne is an exemplary teacher who loves her kids and works hard to make everything relevant. She never leaves anyone behind. Her instruction is differentiated and very engaging. She builds relationships with her students and encourages the love of language. <coughs> Madam Corinne Russell. <laughs> Central Support Person of the Year, Greg Myers, Building Engineer. Greg Myers is one of the most dedicated people I have ever known. Being responsible for the daily operations of such an enormous building is quite daunting, but Mr. Myers handles even the most grungy tasks with enthusiasm and humility. I don't think the word no is in his vocabulary. And I have often heard people say, Central wouldn't run without Greg. Greg Myers. Coleman Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Millie Montemuro, PE. <laughs> Millie brings an amazing amount of dedication, enthusiasm, and love to her job. It's more than a job to her. She has created a learning environment in her gym that combines her classroom expertise and SJSD curriculum with activity and movement. Her lessons and creative gym designs are impressive and the students and staff love and respect Coach M for her ability to make learning so much fun. Millie Montemiro. <laughs> Coleman Support Person of the Year, Debbie Bryson, Nurse. Nurse Debbie has exemplary relationships with students and staff. She is always going above and beyond to help where needed. She works hard to keep the Coleman family healthy and happy. Debbie Bryson. <laughs> District Office Support Person of the Year, Terry Cadwallader, Administrative Assistant in Special Programs. Terry, you get to fly solo on your picture. Do what? You get to fly solo on your picture. Awesome. Terry handles the day-to-day -day operations of the special programs office and goes out of the way to assist every person in the department. He has amazing organizational skills and he is always willing to help others in any and all needs and will work until the job is done. He also makes sure that every person is celebrated on his or her birthday and new people feel welcome. Terry Cadwallader. Early Childhood Teacher of the Year, Mary Cobb, is not able to attend today, but I'll read to you what her nom uh, nomination said. Mrs. Mary is a wonderful educator who genuinely loves and cares about all children. She has such an inborn talent to reach children and make learning exciting. She has the most positive attitude and drive for teaching young children. She gives so much of her personal time to her work and it shows. She has a special connection with her students and their families that is remarkable. And now, the Early Childhood Support Person of the Year, Sally Burton, Administrative Assistant, Keatley Center. <laughs> Sally has been an incredible asset to the Keatley Center this school year. She is friendly, warm, and welcoming to staff, parents, children, and others. She is hardworking, reliable, and helpful. She takes the initiative to find out the answers to all of the questions we have and keeps our office organized. She works well with the various departments in our building and has helped establish a sense of family. Sally Burton. <laughs> uh, 
Edison Elementary Teacher of the Year, Megan Holt, is a second grade teacher. Megan comes in every day with a warm smile and positive attitude. Her classroom makes anyone feel welcome and students are always so engaged. She goes above and beyond her daily expectations for every child as well as for other staff members. Megan Holt. Yay. And I have to say, Bridget, I'm a hugger and Miss Jackie always gives me hugs. So, Edison Elementary Support Staff Person of the Year, Jackie Love, paraprofessional. Okay, watch the Stephanie picture now. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie, that was priceless. Jackie is committed to her job. She cares about the students academically and socially. She is sensitive to students' needs. She is a very compassionate, caring person, and her last name describes her best, love. Aww. Ellison Elementary Teacher of the Year, Lisa Reed, third grade. Mrs. Reed is an amazingly talented teacher who works very hard for and with her students. She challenges them daily to be their best selves and to reach their utmost potential in everything they do. Every time you walk into Mrs. Reed's room, the students are fully engaged in what she's teaching and they have a great deal of respect and love for their teacher. Mrs. Reed is always positive and spreads her kindness throughout the school and community. Lisa Reed. Ellison Elementary Support Staff Person of the Year, Jody Caton, Office Manager. <laughs> Ms. Caton goes above and beyond to help successfully fulfill the needs of every student, their family members, and the needs of the staff. She is one of the easiest people to talk to, and her laughter, happiness, and love of her job can be heard throughout the day. She helps Ellison run like a well-oiled machine, and she often helps her colleagues with her knowledge of the district and her job. Jody Caton. <laughs> Field Elementary Teacher of the Year, Christy Safley, Kindergarten. <laughs> Christy is an amazing teacher with excellent classroom management. Every single child in her class knows at all times exactly where they're supposed to be, how they're supposed to be acting, and that their teacher is cheering them on. She is an essential component of FIELD and the intensive kindergarten program. It is amazing to see how much her students grow from the beginning to the end of her kindergarten experience. Christy Safely. <laughs> FIELD Elementary Support Person of the Year, Annie Bramlage, Counselor. Annie is the light of our school. She does so much for teachers, staff, principal, and students. She is always there to lend an ear, offer some advice, and help out. The students love her and literally cheer for her when she enters the room. She goes above and beyond when supporting students through trying times, making sure they're comfortable and safe while providing them an outlet to share their feelings. Annie Bramlage. Hilliard Technical Center Teacher of the Year, Brian Weed, who instructs carpentry. <laughs> Brian is a definite asset to Hilliard Technical Center. Student enrollment has gone up since he started teaching in the program, and industries in this area love to hire his students. Brian goes above and beyond and is a positive influence to the culture and climate at our building. Brian Weed. <laughs> Hilliard Technical Center Support Staff Person of the Year is Roxanne Schmerbach, Administrative Assistant. Rox, go ahead. Sorry. I talk fast. I try to remember breaks, but that sometimes I forget. Roxanne continually goes above and beyond to help our staff in high schools. Whether it is sending out 20 emails to notify us with schools having snow days or leaving little treats for us to find on the holidays, she does it with pride and with a smile. She is the glue that keeps all the pieces in place. Roxanne Schmerbach. <laughs> Hosea Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Sarah Dwyer. <laughs> Sarah.
Sarah uses much of her free time not only to make the school a better place for students, but also for her mentees. Her nominator noted that they could never have become the teacher they were if it were not for her. She also plays an active role in the district, making sure the needs of her fellow teachers are met. Sarah Dwyer. Hosea Elementary School Support Person of the Year, Lacey Meyer, Librarian. Lacey goes above and beyond, planning innovative and exciting opportunities for all students at Hosea. She not only teaches students how to love reading, but she also gets them excited about books. She is enthusiastic and compassionate about what she does every day, putting 110% into her work. Lacey Meyer. <laughs> Hyde Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Ann Miller. Ann teaches ESOL and is one of the most dedicated teachers. She is passionate about her role in helping students, and she goes above and beyond her teaching role by building positive relationships with each of her students and their families. She creates a safe, caring classroom, and her students and families love her. Ann Miller. <laughs> Hyde Elementary Support Person of the Year, Mike Cloud, Building Engineer. Mike has exhibited an exceptional positive attitude throughout his time at Hyde. He does every task with gladness and is willing to do anything asked of him. He is cheerful and friendly, and our building shines because of his hard work. He goes above and beyond to make our classrooms ready for learning. Mike Cloud. <laughs> Lafayette High School Teacher of the Year, David George, History and Talented and Gifted. Mr. George has excellent relationships with students, staff, and parents. He is a role model for professionalism and ethical behavior. He is well-spoken and highly respected by students and staff alike. He, is, he effectively and consistently implements the four C's into his classrooms, and he demonstrates effective and engaging instruction. David George. Lafayette High School Support Person of the Year, Becky Zuptik, Administrative Assistant. In addition to her regular duties, Mrs. Zuptik is often the go-to person for many matters. She welcomes all visitors upon arrival and always treats people with kindness and respect. Staff and visitors find her approachable, helpful, and patient. She is always professional and courteous, and she is organized, detail-oriented, and willing to help anyone in need. Becky Zuptik. <laughs> Lindbergh Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Jerry Fisher, Kindergarten. Jerry works hard to ensure all of her students are successful to their potential and just as hard to be a mentor to staff members. She created a program called Mighty Flyers to help struggling kindergartners receive extra support during the day. In her time at Lindbergh, she has served on every committee and she continues to serve on the Innovation Committee so that she can continue growing in her teaching and learn new ways to reach all students. Jerry Fisher. Lindbergh Elementary Support Person of the Year is Stacy Kovac, Nurse. <laughs> Stacy extends herself beyond the nurses' clinic. She prides herself on quality care of not only our students and family, but also of our staff at Lindbergh. She believes it is her role to not only take care of the health concerns, but also to support the students' social and emotional health. Her ability to form relationships comes easily, and the bonds she creates with students are long-lasting and impact their success in the classroom. Stacy Kovac. <laughs> Maintenance Department Support Person of the Year, Bob Bohat, Bricklayer. <laughs> Had a 
Gratitude is Bob's best quality. He always thinks in the positive. I would echo that. That is so true. All you hear from Bob is, sure, we can do that. No problem. You guys need any help with that? Next would be the quality of his work. It doesn't matter if he is replacing one brick or tearing out a half wall of crumbling plaster. He will not say the job is done until he is satisfied it has met his high standards. When he has left the work, you cannot even tell it was ever patched, and the job site has been cleaned and dusted neater than Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean, Bob Bohat. Mark Twain Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Abby Patterson, first grade. Abby is always willing to reach out and work with teachers outside of her home classroom. It's common to overhear other staff members at Mark Twain saying that they also admire Abby's tenacity and flexibility. Even if facing a challenge, she always charges forward with enthusiasm. She also makes the effort to support various types of learners and is not afraid to ask for support to help her students reach their potential. Abby Patterson. Mark Twain Elementary School Support Staff Person of the Year, Deanne Howell, Family Involvement Coordinator. Deanne goes above and beyond her regular responsibilities to build relationships with at-risk students. She will take students under her wing and help students in crisis calm down. She brushes their hair, makes sure they've been fed, reads with them, and checks in with them to make sure they're having a successful day. She is like a mom to these kids and a huge help to the classroom teachers. Deanne Howell. I will say this Oak Grove Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Marcy Powell, has been a mom to two Williams children. Thank you for that. Marcy Powell is the Oak Grove Teacher of the Year. Mrs. Powell is the paramount example of a teacher who has dedicated her life to nurturing the students who pass through her classroom. Every student in her class leaves with a feeling of accomplishment. Her stu students flourish both academically and emotionally, and the parents of these students are grateful. She knows what is best for kids and applies this every day. Marcy Powell. Oak Grove Elementary School Support Person of the Year, Sally Douglas, Administrative Assistant. <laughs> Sally is an important part of the Oak Grove staff. The office would not run without her. She is great at her job and she possesses the necessary skills to complete her responsibilities. She is loved by the students, staff, and parents because she is friendly, knowledgeable, and approachable. Sally Douglas. Parkway Elementary School Teacher of the Year, Sarah Mason, fifth grade. <laughs> Mrs. Mason is an extremely caring teacher. She establishes meaningful relationships with her students, staff, and parents. She will go above and beyond with her students to ensure that they are successful in her classroom. She is also a teacher leader in the building and an integral part of the school's PBIS team. Sarah Mason. Parkway Elementary Schools Support Person of the Year is Courtney Foster, Building Engineer. <laughs> Courtney goes above and beyond for whatever teachers need, even though it might not be part of her regular job duties. She will interact in a positive manner with students, establishing meaningful relationships. She is a positive role model, and she is always checking in with teachers to see if there's anything else she can do for them. Courtney Foster. Pershing Elementary School's Teacher of the Year is Sheila McCullough, Kindergarten. <laughs> Sheila is a positive team member, she is a learner and a mentor, and she is very dedicated to her school. Sheila McCullough. <laughs> Pershing Elementary School's Support Person of the Year is Pat Dean, Building Engineer. was unable to attend. 
Pickett Elementary Teacher of the Year is Mary Sanders, second grade. Mary goes out of her way to make Pickett great. She is so fun for the kids. She is always giving a kid a hug and having a personal conversation. Here you go, Bridget. <laughs> she gives them encouragement, guidance, and self-esteem to build them up to continue to be successful. Mary is also very involved within the school and the community and makes events fun and meaningful for kids. Mary Sanders. Pickett Elementary Support Person of the Year, Stephanie Grable, Library Facilitator. <laughs> Stephanie brings amazing energy to Pickett. She has fresh ideas and is constantly thinking of new ways to get children excited about reading. This year, she has brought in poets from Kansas City to inspire kids to write, started the highly popular Cardinal Comic Club, and encouraged kids to buy books. <laughs> I like this. Through a lip sync battle, she doesn't just promote books to kids, she promotes learning. Stephanie Grable. <laughs> Rubidoux Middle School Teacher of the Year is Victoria Curry, Music and Choir. <laughs> Victoria is an amazing educator who has devoted her life to the profession and the many students she's taught. She joined, since she joined our staff, Rubidoux has been bubbling with enthusiasm and excitement in room 113. Demonstrating great initiative and a strong dedication to students and staff, Victoria has been a key component in continuing the positive, supportive, and student-first climate at Rubidoux. Victoria Curry. <laughs> Rubidoux Middle School Support Staff Person of the Year is Melissa Corey, Librarian. Woo! From the very beginning, Melissa has demonstrated a love for books, technology, and a desire to build positive, supportive relationships with our students and staff. Melissa makes the library a place everyone wants to hang out. Melissa is never too busy to assist with a computer problem, recommend a book, help solve a problem, or just listen to offer suggestions. She truly does it all. Melissa Corey. Gaith Elementary School Teacher of the Year is Brooke Kissel, fourth grade. <laughs> Brooke's outstanding personality shines through her teaching and her students absolutely adore her. She works well with her team, stays organized, and always strives to do what's best for her students. Her lessons are always engaging. She is also amazing at building relationships with her coworkers and mentoring her students. Brooke Kissel. Scaife Elementary School's Support Person of the Year is Jessica Corsamilia, Administrative Assistant. <laughs> Jessica is a star at her job. This is her second year, but it seems like she's done it for years. She is open and friendly with parents and compassionate and enthusiastic with our students. Her organization and responsibility are impressive, and she always goes above and beyond. Jessica Corsamilia. Spring Garden Middle School's Teacher of the Year is Terry Best, Physical Education. <laughs> Terry works diligently to develop and implement engaging and relevant lessons that not only meet our students' academic needs through physical ed education, but she is also able to reach our students in supporting their social and emotional needs daily. She is truly committed to doing what is best for students and is willing to go above and beyond to make this happen. Terry Best. <laughs> Spring Garden Support Person of the Year, Shelly Miller, Nutrition Services. <laughs> Shelly Miller has distinguished herself as an exceptional team member within our cafe. She goes above and beyond to provide not only nutritious meals for our students, but she is also integral in providing the care and fun environment that our students and staff have the opportunity to experience daily. Shelly Miller. <laughs> Shelley Miller. 
Truman Middle School Teacher of the Year is Mandy Goddard, Special Education. Mandy is an exemplary teacher in all aspects. She is responsible for setting up a highly organized, structured environment for learning where all students feel loved, successful, and that they are an important part of the community and classroom. Her management and style have become a model for the district. Mandy Goddard. Truman Middle School Support Person of the Year is Jenny Galloway, Special Education Paraprofessional. Jenny is always willing to go above and beyond to meet the needs of our special education students. She has assisted in taking data, implementing our positive behavior supports, and even escorting students who need extra support in transition between classes. She meets all new challenges with a positive attitude and a willingness to do what is best for our students. Jenny Galloway. And our final honorees, Webster Learning Center Teacher of the Year, Lori Garza, English Language Arts. Lori is always pushing herself to grow in her learning to best help the students she works with. She has taken the lead on presenting professional development to staff and provides valuable learning experiences for all. She is always looking for new ways to capture learning for her students and strives to provide the best education possible. She is unselfish, kind, and supportive. Lori Garza. <laughs> Webster Support Person of the Year is Tammy Gerber, Special Education Paraprofessional. Ms. Gerber shows genuine care about our students and staff. She goes above and beyond using personal money to buy incentives for students who have met their academic and behavior goals and for classroom resources. She has many years of experience working with at-risk populations and strives to interact with students in a pleasant way. Really, it's amazing to me to be able to stand up here and read each of these nominations. Every one of you has been um, noted for being kind and caring, compassionate, loving, and energetic. Mm -hmm. And really, there are no better role models for our students. Thank you for all you do.